and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, man, it's a whole lot of stuff going on. We got wages going on. We got people asking for wages. Man, we got uh, hashtag to make 2K free trending. Man, we got all that stuff, man. So if y'all don't do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment hashtag. Just uh, what? Free. Let's comment free down below, man. That's going to do two things for y'all, man. Number one. Friday. It is Friday. Today, when we stream, we're going to be choosing two winners. I didn't get a chance to do a winner to, uh, this week, but I was just so busy, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was busy at work. So we're gonna be doing the winner today, and we're gonna be choosing two winners off of the, uh, you know, how we do it randomly. That's number one. All you gotta do to get involved in that is like the video, and the more videos you go back and like and comment on, the better your chances. So like the video and comment something down below. If you don't know what to comment, comment free. Number two, and this is the more important one, if we can average 8K views and we getting close to it, we're gonna be giving away a next-gen console at the end of the month, so it's gonna be an Xbox, a PlayStation, or 500 bucks, or a PS5, man, you know, I mean, or a laptop, something like that. Just whatever y'all want, man. Last but not least, the bots are down there, man. Make sure y'all don't 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 entertain them man look i got instagram and i got twitter i don't got um what are they saying telegram i don't have telegram and i don't have the other uh joint they be trying my phone number that's not my phone number man with all that out of the all that out of the way good morning out there in 2k land man speaking of wages bro i ain't gonna lie to y'all man it's gonna be a good one right here tocino versus colder man is going down tonight well it says tomorrow but that was December 15th, so today it'd be in the 16th. Uh, there you go. Some people saying, how much is the wager, man? Look, bro, we don't care how much the wager. Shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up, bro. We don't care about the wager. It could be for a dollar or a cold soda. We just want to see good people play and see these intense games and have matchups in the community, man. We don't care about how much that wager is, man. It's, or, or do we? Are y'all more apt to watch a wager if it's a high wager? Like, with, with those guys, it's not my pocket, so I do not care. I don't bet. I don't side bet. I don't do any of that. So I'm just going to tell y'all straight up, look. It doesn't matter. I just like to see the matchups and I like to see the good games and stuff like that. And then just the whole atmosphere surrounding it. And most importantly, I like to break it down on my trusty dusty board, man. You know what I'm talking about? I like to, y'all know what I like to do. I like to get my pen and do all that stuff, man. So, hey, it is what it is, bro. So uh, that, that's what we do. We do the, the week telestration around here, man. Um, I love it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and all that good stuff. Now, let's get to the controversy because we had a little beef going on, man. I don't know if y'all going to be able to see this right here. Nah, we're going to have to do it like this. So, EJ deleted the tweet. Um, I don't know why. Like we said yesterday and as he said yesterday, when you do something on the internet, it's there forever. It is what it is. But we got it right here. And it just says, uh, he just, he, he just tweeted it out. I don't know what provoked it, what did it, but we're going to get all into it. He says, bro, I don't hold a controller in my hand for 10 hours a day. I'm not trying to prove how comp I am, nor do I have to play stage or force wages to pull views, um, to pull views. My supporters mess with me because they know I'm going to take the stream I mean, I'm gonna say I'm gonna make the stream pop every night, meaning I can go anywhere and entertain. I ain't gonna lie though, man. Like I, I feel what he's saying though, bro, bro. But you was deep into that wage of culture two and twenty and all that good stuff, bro. Like you was deep into it. So like I don't, I don't, I never like when people say, yeah, I ain't gotta do that. But you did it when it was convenient. Just like when you, you was doing the e days, you were doing all, when it was convenient, I do it. But then when I distance myself away from it, I ain't gotta do that. I don't, I don't, I, don't, I never have liked that, man. Listen, bro. Everybody's doing what they have to do in order to get by just like just like some people be like you'll be new and be nothing without the internet i would be nothing without the internet you know why because my job is keeping internet platforms up that is my job my literal job is to make sure that the internet stays up for people so without the internet i would be absolutely nothing my job would not exist because i am a network engineer that means that's all i do is stay on the internet all day and make sure that everybody's internet is up as well I stay on the internet and make sure that you stay on the internet. So without the internet, I would be nothing. So I just hate when people say stuff like that, man, because you know, like what somebody, but I was a help desk technician at one time too. So what I'm gonna be like, shoot, without the phones, you wouldn't be nothing or I ain't gotta sit on the phone all day, man. But yes, at one time I did. So it is what it is, man. Y'all, I think y'all understand what I'm trying to say. It ain't, you know, it is what it is. Hey, and then so, 
Bullet come back and you you doing bad if you're making Bullet me agree with Bullet or something. So he says, and you shouldn't talk down on those. <laughs> I'm agreeing with Bullet, bro. Like, I ain't got nothing against Bullet, but you, you know, like I said, we don't see eye to eye on everything, but you don't have to see eye to eye to, to, to be able to agree with somebody or something like that. And he says, and you shouldn't talk down on those who do whatever works for you, bud. Exactly, just do what, do what works for you. Better stay funny and can't keep them fake reactions going, cause your skills ain't getting to, getting you nowhere. <laughs> what you what you say what you say goes both ways. Why are you talking down on the people who who can do both? You mad cause you can't, cause you can't hang in the stage or wager? Oh man, that's tough right there. Like I said though, it is what it is. Then the boy, poor boy, saying he says, yo, this cat EJ really does a wager he don't he don't even got to put money on that's what steak is all about that's what i was telling y'all that steak steak y'all steak them and then you know whatever whatever but that, that's a great idea crowdfunded wager i love it uh but he says he's really looking away he don't even have to put put money on come try to win uh come try to win the money back you lost and you crying about all that barking <laughs> all that barking but no bite yikes and then so they show the wager right here man he says uh 1v1 me you know wants to sponsor it uh you know do the thing he says okay and he said we would love to we would love to get the wager with you and ej uh for for next friday were you able to see if he was uh if he was down and then he says uh easy money yes sir so he's just trying to do that and then so like i said ej comes back and he's like bro you literally have dm'd me and uh you literally have dm'd me at me and made tweets about me so many times uh and i don't respond are you talented at anything else other than holding a controller in i mean in your hands for 10 hours a day you can't out hustle me you're not entertaining and i'm way farther in life than you and you started before me and like I said, bro, I, ne I never get down with stuff like that, bro. I, I don't know why people do that, man. Like, they, they, we call those ad hominem attacks, bro. So, like, if you don't know what an ad hominem attack is, it's, it's like I don't have any ammo to go with what you're actually saying, so I just say something that's beside the point. Uh, I attack something else. So, like, like me, uh, like, I was a funny guy, and, like, in, in school and stuff. Or, you know, I was I, and I was also very intellectual. And, uh, you know, we'd get into a, a, into a debate about something, and then somebody would be like, well, you got big lips. And I'd be like, yeah but the women love it so but you know you understand what i'm saying so that would be an ad hominem attack you attack something that has nothing to do with what we're talking about he's just asking the man about a wager he said you've been under all the posts you've been talking about people been selling your bread you was under the tacino post you had a lot to say under the tacino post yesterday about sin when you were saying he didn't take accountability for what you know for him putting the thing out there so you've been acting don't and then like, don't act like you just super innocent in this. That's all I'm saying. You doing your, you you are doing your thing. You out there doing. Hey, I can't I can't knock you for that. You are doing your thing. You are doing your own thing. You keeping your community entertained. You blowing up everywhere and all of that. But let's not act like you weren't running running around asking people for wagers, doing wagers and all this stuff. And then at the same time, let's not act like you're not under a lot of people's posts. Uh, you know that was pertaining to poor boy sin. So now he just try to talk about it directly and. It, you know, like, it's like you just want to back out and be like, man, I ain't got, like, if it was me, a brute that said, yo, I do my own thing and I'm not really into the community, just like I said yesterday, it would be different. But, you know, because we don't mess with nobody. We don't talk to nobody. We ain't under everybody's post. We're not deep that deep into the community. We report on it, but we're not that deep into it. But it's a little bit different with you because you under everybody's post. You used to be under everybody's post. You everywhere. So, like, when somebody says something back, you can't just really be like, nah, I'm just going to be on some fallback type stuff. Like, it doesn't work like that. Like, just like you are doing that or what? It is what it is, man. I think y'all understand what I'm trying to say. Enough of that, though. Back to what? with Y'all let me know what y'all think now in the comment section. Is, is Sin wrong for this? I mean, I don't see. I don't, like... I think that I think that it's something that can be solved very easily, but I don't like when people attack people's personal uh personal character and stuff like that or be like, you know, I'm doing this, I'm doing yeah, we all doing our own thing and I'm glad because it's keeping all of us off the street. But I just don't feel like we need to attack each other. That's the last thing we need in the 2K community. We can just be like, hey, you know, I, I just don't want to play, bro. And that's it. But then you can't really go down that road because of how you went about things in the past and stuff like that. It is what it is, man. But anyway, up next we got Look, man, we got a lot of people talking about the 2K should be free. And uh, your boy Laker fan, he said VC prices would be 
would be morally correct, but that is more charity to us than making the actual copy of the game uh, free would be. A free to play game reels in more players which turns to uh, which turns them to consumers as well. Lauren VC prices is just charity. And I think this is what he was saying in, in, in response to something that uh, Lily was saying. He's like, the price of the game is the biggest barrier to entry. No, it's not. It's $60 is what everybody's got. So the price of the game is not. But I understand what you're trying to say. The price of the game is the biggest barrier to entry currently of 2K for major, uh, for the majority of game uh, gaming consumers. The reason VC is expensive is because you already paid for the game. You are more likely to spend more on a game you have, uh, you already have, especially if it's free to enjoy it more. I, I don't know. And then so uh, then Lego fan, he kind of come back and he says, meanwhile, with, they have zero actual gameplay enhanced. I mean, he's talking about Fortnite and stuff because they're saying like Fortnite made, make you know they made that stuff free. I think. Hold on, let me let me actually find out what she said, bro. Because I want to, I, I want to. Um, uh, I I don't see exactly what he was responding to. Actually, yeah, it's right here. It says, uh, "Being free, being free to play is literally what created Fortnite." Actually, Fortnite was they had a they had a pay model. The free to play was a battle royale. And that, well, that's not actually actually all the way true, but I get what she's trying to say. Uh, being being free to play is literally what created Fortnite and studying economics behind Fortnite model and why why it's the most successful and revenue generating game in history and more and most mainstream is directly tied to the free to play is directly tied to free to play and microtransaction. He said, meanwhile. This is something that is actually true. They have zero actual gameplay enhancers to pay for uh, in the game. No attributes to purchase, no MT uh, to buy, and there's nothing that you can buy in Fortnite that will, um, so you can't earn V-Bucks in Fortnite to buy stuff, and you can't, uh, and and there's nothing that's gonna make you better at the game. And he said, I'm not coming at this uh, tweet, uh, the tweet spree begging for charity from 2K. I just think a free to play game would generate both more revenue and more consumers. And then, like I said, I, I say this all the time, just because I got a problem with something that somebody did doesn't mean that I can't agree with them on anything. It doesn't mean I dislike them or anything. I just disagree with what you did at that time. I'm married to my wife. I will always be married to my wife. She can come in here and say something wrong to me. We have a disagreement. I still love you. Steal my yacht, you steal my person, and it's all that. So I can disagree with somebody that's something that somebody does and then agree with them in the same video. It just is what it is. I just don't like when people come at people on some you're an old head type stuff because you're gonna be old one day too and somebody's gonna surpass you. So it is what it is. So saying all that to say this, your boy EJ, and I agree, he said, bro, take two interactive is not about to make NBA 2K23 free to play. Y'all know how many MFs they gotta pay. They gotta pay at that company. Boy, ain't no way they about to do that. And uh, I think what it is is, I mean, it's no way they got not gonna do it, but it's really just because it's, they, they, they have no incentive to do it. I'm not gonna, if I'm a if I'm a business person, I own a t-shirt business, I own a phone business. This, I'm telling these are things that I actually own. So I own a t-shirt business and run it. It's very successful. Uh, Gambit should be getting his gear today. And I also own a phone business, uh, phone company, uh, where I provide phones to, to uh, apartment complexes or what have you, very successful. So those are two things that I do. These are my side, side business. I don't talk about them a lot because they're not relevant. Do you think, that I'm going to drop the prices on my t-shirts or my phone bills when I already have a very competitive pricing model? You think I'm gonna do that just to do you a solid? No, I'm not. Because I know that for a lot of people, I'm the only game in town because I not only provide phone support, but I will also provide you some IT support at no additional cost, as long as it's with, within reason. So knowing that I do the things that I do, I'm not going to drop my prices or do anything to do you a solid. Now, if somebody say they going somewhere else or something is not working, yeah, I might do something to do you a solid in that case. Or if like, let's say they say, well, you know, we got another company over here that's doing like, it has to be a reason. Nobody's gonna just drop their price or make a huge, huge move uh, with no reason or no incentive. And right now, 2K doesn't have any incentive or any reason to do that. And that's why we got your boy, the boy Phantom Show. GV, he made a post. 10 minute video, very intuitive, very good video. Um, 
until you start thinking about it. And I think he goes down some very dangerous roads. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But that boy Phantom says, good video. Although the only, and this is what I really, I respect Phantom because this, because like he, I, Brute, uh, a lot of people, Man Man Grind Hard, uh, Cash Nasty, LSK, all of us was on the original line of No VC Spent back in 2K18 when we saw that where this was going and everybody told us we was crazy. But uh, anyway, Phantom says, good video, although the only reason 2K content creators are speaking up on this is cause the money is slowing down and views are dropping. If everyone's views and cash flow from, 2K, uh, from YouTube uh, slash streaming were fine, we wouldn't be having this debate. Drop the, hold on, where is it? Where is it? Here you go. This is it right here. Drop the mother f***ing mic on them, Phantom. That's what, it's, that's what it is, bro. We gotta create a narrative, and I'm not against creating narratives because narratives are good. They keep everything going. They keep all of us flowing. But at the end of the day, it is, it is what it is. It is what Phantoms is saying views are down and everybody want to find something to complain about and they're like well shoot if you if you if the game was free to play we would have more people on the game and the cost is so prohibitive blah 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 and if uh you know then we have more viewers and then you know everything will be good but now nah, it's not going to work like that because the cost the, like all these prices have been this way and it's been prohibitive for years it just is what it is but now it's a problem because it's directly impacting us now the video that GV did, awesome video. I agree with a lot of the stuff that he says, but it's going down a very dangerous road because in, in the back of my mind, <clears throat> the only thing I'm hearing is 2K could make a portion of the game free, but then it really feels like at that point, um, you're gonna earn less VC and they're gonna force you to buy VC. So like it has to be, uh, so they're gonna force you to buy more VC because you're gonna earn less VC uh, in the game and then everything is gonna cost a little more. So prices in the game would go up, but the game would be free. And to me, that's, a, I mean, and that, that's just the basis of it. It's not that simple. It was very, uh, very. he, he went very in depth. Y'all need to watch the video. But at the end of the day, that's what I felt like I'm seeing. And it just feels like that's not an amicable solution. An amicable solution gotta be something where it's a win-win. There's no reason for them to make the game be free and then I'm gonna get taxed. And then like, if I don't put on boost, I'm not, cause you know, we know where 2K will go with that. Oh, you don't put on boost, you're not gonna hit a shot at all. So it's not the game for you. Some, a lot of people out here playing for free. So, you know what I'm saying? Like the people that have paid for the game, now we're gonna have to suffer along with the people that get the free portion free. Like, I think that honestly, if they made park free, but gave you no access to my career, so you can't really, you know what I'm saying? There's no really way for you to grind VC and there's no really way for you to do this and that, then, then that's cool. But I just don't like the whole thing where people are like, well, let's just make the game. The game should be free, but you know because we're because we got to pay for the juice i just think we just need to stop forcing us to pay for the juice you should not link my players my i've already paid for the game i already paid for the player why i gotta buy the juice too there's there's no reason like t say we got me and t gonna be talking about this like we should the our issue is that 2k players content creators and all that are like we have normalized the juice that's what it is the boost the everything in the game when Swante was saying this game is pay to dribble and all of that and everybody was like eh, it ain't this and that like bro y'all should have listened to him because it is and now we got adren adrenaline in the game and if you don't got boost on it's, it really is pay to dribble it's more pay to dribble than that but anyway it's a whole lot of stuff that we're gonna be talking about man in the video later on me and T Misley uh we're gonna do that man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man I think that I think that this is just a cool topic for people to talk about right now uh, with 2K being free, but I just don't see how it really helps us out. Somebody like me, I'm gonna buy the game anyway. How does it help me out? Because I mean, if the game, if the park was free, I'm still gonna buy the whole game. You see what I'm saying? The biggest issue is the, I don't care about the microtransactions. The only microtransactions I ever care about in the game are the ones that are, that enhance your abilities in the game and even if they enhance your abilities in the game if i can get there naturally i still don't care about them so like you if you let's say if somebody bought their way to 99 i wouldn't care because i'm still gonna grind my player up you know i'll buy the 85 and then i'm gonna grind my player up to 99 anyway so that doesn't bother me just like glitches in the game that get you there they don't they, they never have bothered me but y'all know i understand what i'm saying man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh on the barbershop bk the people's town Gosh, please. Gosh, please.